I'm just gonna, I keep looking at myself. I'm really sorry. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Allie. Today we're gonna talk about stage makeup and some other fun stuff. It's been like 12 years since I filmed a video. That's not true. It's probably been like two-ish, two and a half months. In that time, I've actually opened and closed two different shows. So life has been a little bit crazy, but I have some very exciting things today because I closed my most recent show a couple weeks ago and I have not yet cleaned out my makeup kit. So I figured what a perfectly good time to share a little bit with you guys about what I brought with me to the show, what kind of makeup and other things I needed with me. So today we're going to explore what's in my makeup box. Spoiler alert, it's actually a lot more than just makeup. My hair is lighter, I actually just got it done today. Sorry if I keep touching it or looking in the... Uh, what you call it because it's still new and I'm like getting used to it every time I've passed a mirror so far I keep forgetting who I am because I've never really colored my hair before but it felt like a fun thing to do I do like it so far I think it's just gonna take some living with it to fully settle in so this is my actual makeup box let me close it this is the makeup box that I bring with me to shows I've had it for literally ever maybe 10 years so I believe it's caboodle brand you can get these kind of tackle box things lots of places for storage so that is what I keep all the makeup in and like I said it's a lot more than just makeup it's the same as when I did my what's in my audition bag video I like the idea of having more than I think I need if that makes sense basically just be prepared for situations that you're not expecting it's always better to have a little more on hand than not enough and you'll see what I mean as we go along because I have a lot of things Sorry in advance if this video is long. I had kind of like a format of how I wanted to do this and explain the things by category, but you know what? Let's just dive on in and see what we find. This is me swimming. I don't know. Okay, so we're diving into the box. First things first, so I not talk about makeup. I recently did a video, I guess it wasn't that recently, a while ago I did a video talking about cruelty-free makeup options. I'm still learning a lot about this myself. By no means am I 100% cruelty-free. I'm actually only like a little bit cruelty-free. But if anyone watching this has any suggestions for cruelty-free makeup, particularly stage makeup, that would be very helpful. So go ahead and list them in the comments below. I would appreciate that. So you'll see some brands that may be cruelty-free, but a lot that are not. So a lot that are not. Whatever. Okay, here we are. This is NYX Shine Killer. This is the primer that I use under my foundation after I've moisturized. I put on this before putting on my regular foundation. It's a good habit to get into, especially for stage makeup, when usually it's a lot more stuff on your face. With stage lights and all these other factors affecting your face, that we want to protect it and put on a primer so this is the one that i use we have foundation if i go into detail on every single product it's going to take forever so i might plow through this pretty quickly but i'll list some things below so this is the foundation dream velvet something maybelline right now i'm using this concealer it's the instant age rewind by maybelline as well um, so I'll use that under, whoops, I will use this under my eyes as well as any place where I need a highlight. And as a shadow, I use Bare Minerals Warmth. It's kind of like their version of a bronzer. You use it where the sun would naturally hit your face. In the case of stage makeup, I usually use it right in here and anywhere else, maybe like my temples where I feel like I want a little bit of shadow. So this is the one that I use, Bare Minerals Warmth. Let me put it right side up. <laughs> I got a Bare Minerals makeup kit like a thousand years ago and I've had this ever since because it has lasted five ever. This blush is from Clinique. I almost never use blush in real life. I'll use it for the stage to make your features stand out just a little bit more on stage than you would in real life. For a setting powder, I have been using CoverGirl True Blend Pressed Powder. As far as setting the makeup, I'll use this thing right over top and then I also spray it. Where's my thing? I spray it with a mist setting spray thingy. This one's from e.l.f. So I'll spray that all over and then Ben Nye Translucent Powder. Now anyone who has done theater for any length of time ever is probably familiar with Ben Nye. Ben Nye is a pretty popular brand of stage makeup. I've taken stage makeup classes a couple different times and we usually get a whole kit of stuff which I'll talk more about that later, but I use the setting powder. It's just a translucent powder, but it holds up very well. Um, I've also got Derma Blend, and I use 
that as a foundation for my tattoo. So I do have a small tattoo right here. Depending on what character I'm playing, I will cover that up. So I use Derma Blend for that most of the time. And then I'll also set the tattoo really well and I usually spray over it with hairspray and that helps it to hold as well. I suppose if anyone's curious about covering a tattoo, we can talk about that at some point. I don't know, is that a good idea? Tell me in the comments. Okay, so now that we've done our foundation, we move on to the eyes. Now, for me, the eyeshadow palette that I was using for this most recent show was CoverGirl True Naked Nudes. I've never really done a smoky eye very much, but I kind of played with it because I wanted um, oh, by the way, the show that I did is Thoroughly Modern Millie, and I played Miss Flannery. Anyway, so I wanted Miss Flannery's fle fe her features. I wanted Flannery's features to stand out. I did that with kind of a smoky eye, and she also had false eyelashes as well. She's kind of a character, so I figured it was fun for her to have, like, big, bold features. Then I used my favorite eyeliner in the whole wide world. I've tried some cruelty-free um, liquid eyeliners and I haven't had much success with them. So again, tell me in the comments if that's a thing that you have information about. This is by L'Oreal. You can't live without your mascara. It's a two-sided mascara, so it's got a primer on one end and then the actual mascara on the other. This is a clear brow styling gel from Rimmel. I used that on my eyebrows. These are the lashes that I wore when I just did a production of Little Mermaid. That was the show I was just doing in March and April. For Millie, I used much bigger ones, but I don't have those anymore. So these are Kiss. I used eyelash glue from Duo. This is the brush on one, and I really like it a lot. So we've done our face. We've done our eyes. Now we need to do the lips. Flannery had some interesting lipstick shall we say like i said she's kind of a character i wanted her to kind of stand out and have some some fun makeup going on so i used a pretty dark shade of lipstick this lipstick's from rimmel london it's the color bordeaux that's what it looks like let's do a swatch that's what the real makeup gurus do that'll be festive but i also used a brush a pretty fine point brush to do it because i wanted the accuracy so i would paint from the lipstick and I would draw my lips. So for Flannery, I actually overdrew the top and the bottom, but I underdrew the sides, so it was a little bit narrower and wider. Um, I wanted the Cupid's bow to be accentuated, and I also researched like 20s makeup, 1920s makeup, where they would like draw the lip line in a little bit. So this was the lip color. In the box, I also have makeup remover. These are wipes from Burt's Bees. I think I've actually talked about these before. They're pretty cool. Some cotton pads and everyone's favorite makeup sponge, the little wedge. A travel size container of Q-tips. I mostly used these for if I like messed up my um, eyeliner or something and had to fix it. And makeup brushes. I already talked about the small brush that I used for the lipstick because of the fine point there. We've got my fluffy brush. It's from Eco Tools. I use this one for the translucent setting powder and also the pressed powder. This is the Handy Buki from Bare Minerals. I got this the same time as I got the um, warmth. Two different sizes of eyeshadow brushes and the uh, this is a blending, what are they called? Beauty blenders, but this one has a handle. We're getting into the non-makeup category, so just like miscellaneous things. I've got a ton of safety pins. These were helpful for whatever costume quick fixes needed to be done. We have oil blotting tissues, which are terrific, again, for sweat and just life that happens during theater. Now, I only have one of these left. You probably can't even really tell what it is, but it's called Hollywood tape or fashion tape or, you know, whatever brand it's called. For me, I used it for um, one of my costumes had a lower neckline, and I wanted to make sure that that was all sticking well. There was also a dress with uh, a low back. And so I used a combination of that tape and mic tape to fix things so that my mic cord didn't uh, run right down the center of my back. It went here, back through my wig, taped it down at my neck, taped it right at my shoulder and then down the front. So it would avoid most of my back. I have hand sanitizer. 
nail polish remover pads. So any sort of nail fiascos that happen, you can just use the little pads here. I also have, um, similar to that, their alcohol pads. This is handy for if you have like mic tape that gets kind of gooey and stuck, then you can use the alcohol to help you remove it. Clear nail polish, not so much for actually doing your nails, but because if you have a run, you can use a combination of nail polish and or hairspray to help uh, run in your tights. Deodorant because sweat happens and travel size is handy to keep in the box. Nail clippers and I also kept tweezers in here but mine are currently missing at the moment so there you go. First aid kit. Yay for safety and preparedness. This is just a small one. It's got some band-aids and things in here so always good to have on hand. Again prepare for things that you are not expecting. I also have been a stage manager and so I feel like it's a combination of a makeup kit and a stage management kit a little bit. Be prepared, like the Girl Scouts. Or it's Boy Scouts, I think. But the Girl Scouts are prepared too, right? Okay, we're gonna plow through this quick because I'm running out of battery. So hair, a comb, that's exciting. This little pouch, then this has my wig cap, as well as bobby pins and hair ties and all sorts of stuff. So what I did was I braided my hair and then put it up into the wig cap. Other things that you may or may not want to have on hand include cough drops, Ricola, Ricola. I have some of these on hand. Another brand of lozenges that can be helpful for singers and performers. These are Olba's, that's the brand name, and I first heard of these from Lindsay Mendez. She had these vlogs that she did, and one of them was about like wellness and health during shows, and these were recommended by her, so I have tried them. They're pretty cool. In addition to tea bags, these are throat coat. These are your best friends. Again, if you haven't discovered throat coat already, make sure you do because it's great. A sort of pain reliever, Tylenol, Advil, whatever you use. I've got a little miniature thing of like Pepto-Bismol. Peppermint essential oil because why not? And then I've also got a saline nasal spray and a throat spray as well. So again, like you may not necessarily be sick, but it's just a good idea to have these things on hand in case you have a not so good voice day, you can kind of help yourself out. Also, you may be hungry, so some type of snack. Um, here I have a fruit snack and goldfish because I'm five years old, but granola bar, whatever you have, if you are gonna be busy that day and you need to be sure that you eat. Okay, real quick, I wanna touch on the Vin Nye stage makeup that I talked about. Depending on what sort of show or needs you would have, um, you may need to do some specialty makeup. So investing in a stage makeup kit like this would be a good idea. Um, so it's got all sorts of stuff. There's liquid latex, spirit gum for applying any sort of special things. Aha, tweezers. <laughs> So there's all sorts of stuff. There's like a color wheel, hair whitener if you need to go gray or something. And Ben Nye is a pretty well-known brand of stage makeup and I would definitely check that out if that's something that you need. Also, I did keep some accessories in the box as well, um, just what I wore during the show. So I wore a pearl necklace and two different pairs of earrings that are in the box. And then... Well friends, what does it say about the length of your video when your battery dies in the middle of filming? Does it say you talk too much? Because I think it might. It's okay though, because I got to eat my goldfish in the meantime. Okay, so here we are. I think I was mentioning that I keep the accessories in the box as well. I talked about my jewelry. One other thing that was kind of fun for this character is she wore cat eye glasses and so I played with the idea that she wore a different pair of glasses for every costume, like to match. But each scene I was constantly changing up my glasses and that was actually kind of a fun little character thing that I got to play with. So I have four total, can I do it? Oh man, this is quality video footage right here. Well, I think that brings us to a close. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Allie. If you haven't already, take the time to subscribe to this channel and like this video. I can't be serious right now. I can't ask you all to like subscribe to me while I'm 
a fool. Anyway, um, I really hope you liked this video. I'm thinking about expanding the theater tips videos that I've made. Um, I've made just a couple so far. If you have any other suggestions for potential video ideas, please be sure to let me know. One that I am definitely planning and should be coming soon is an audition songbook video. So talking about musical selections in your book that you bring to auditions. If that's something you like, let me know that as well. So thank you again for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hey everyone, I'm Allie and today is my birthday. Okay, so today I'm 24 years old and so I want to make a video that shares 24 things about being 24.